Hi, this is Paul Carman here, uh, sales manager at Keysound in Hinckley in the Midlands. I'm going to take up three or four minutes of your time, if I may, and I would urge you to watch this video all the way through because it will be full of really important information, hints and tips on buying a digital piano. And I'm going to begin with a fact. Did you know that 80% of people who walk through a shop door and actually try and listen to these digital pianos will choose a different model, even a different brand, to the one they researched online and they'd made their mind up they were going to buy. I'm going to repeat that. 80% of people will buy something different to what they preconceived they were going to buy before they walk through the shop door. So why is that percentage so high? Um, well, I think it's quite easy to understand because if we were to believe everything we read, every digital piano is in fact the best digital piano in the world, according to the blurb. But of course, that can't be the case. But let me give you a little example here of where a specification doesn't tell the whole story. We can look at a starter portable piano. It will tell you it has 88 black and white notes and it has a graded hammer action keyboard. But then we'll look at one at a few thousand pounds instead of a few hundred pounds. That also still has 88 black and white notes and it still has a graded hammer action keyboard. So why should I spend a few thousand pounds when a few hundred pounds will do? Well, of course there's a difference. Think in terms of cars and, and lot, lots of things. Uh, they can have the same functions, but they do it in totally different ways. So there are lots of different grades of hammer action keyboards. Some, for example, are designed for complete beginners. The problem there is they will only take you through to a certain level. And when you hit that certain level, you will need a better responding keyboard but it won't tell you that in the specification. So that's where shops like ourselves with 47 years of experience and we only sell keyboards and pianos. So we're 100% focused on those products. We can show you and let you hear the differences between these different keyboards. And the sound of course is a key factor in helping you decide which piano is, is right for you. You have to like the sound. And if you find the one that you like the sound of best, does the touch still suit you? Um, there's no point in having a really good sound, but the touch isn't right. So you can try them all. And that's the beauty of ourselves here at Keysound. We have all five major brands under one roof. So you can go around the shop and you can try from model to model, manufacturer to manufacturer, and you will find the one that suits you the best. And that's an important point. This is going to be your piano. And you should choose the one that is your favourite, not the one that your friend has told you to get, um, with the greatest respect to them, not the one that your teacher has necessarily advised you to get. You're the person who's going to play it, and you're the one who's got contact with this piano every single day. So make it your decision. The appearance of a piano and the size of a piano is also difficult to gauge from a specification sheet or even a picture. Here's a great example. We've got two instruments here. One of them is dark rosewood and one of them is black. And I've watched this video back. I can't really see the difference. Um, it is difficult because a photograph will often change the colour the true colour of that instrument. So you need to come and look at the different finishes available. And also if like me, if somebody tells you something so many centimetres long, I just can't picture it in my head. I need to physically see it. And then I get some idea of the size we're talking about. Not only can you see the size of the model you're looking at and you can gauge how big, how tall it is, how deep it is, but you can also directly compare it with all of the other models because there are lots of different styles. We have this sort of what I would call a traditional um, digital piano style. You may want something nice and tall that looks more like a traditional upright piano. Or you may want something a lot more contemporary and modern and compact. Or maybe a portable or stage piano style. But you know, something came to light the other day, even with this sort of thing. 
you can look at the dimensions and you can look at the weight, but the weight doesn't tell the full story. We had a lady in the other day. Um, she thought she wanted to buy a certain instrument, but then actually when she tried to lift it, it was too bulky to go under her arm. So she chose a different piano for a specific reason. So as you can see, there are a lot of factors to take into consideration, many of which you just can't get the answers to by watching videos, uh, reading reviews. It's often misleading. There is honestly no better way to buy a digital piano than visit a specialist showroom like ourselves at Key Sound. Come in, you must see them, you must try them, you must hear them for yourself. Your next digital piano is here, I assure you of that. It's just finding the right one for you. We need to talk to you to be able to point you in the right direction. Remember, 80% of people who walk through that door will go out with a different instrument. That's quite an alarming fact. We don't want you to make an expensive mistake. <coughs> By all means, do your research. I think it's good to have some knowledge, but don't base your whole purchase on that research. Actually come and try the pianos for yourself. Thanks for watching this. I hope it's made you think about the best way to purchase your piano. And with that in mind, we look forward to seeing you here at Keysound very, very soon. Thanks for watching.